back, traders. Getting ready for the trading week. It's Sunday here at 2.19 p.m. We had an awesome week last week. Pairs were flying. Also, my dollar Canadian uh, trade, short trade, um, finally uh, materialized at 31.50. We had uh, entries as high as 35.80. Just crushed it on the dollar Canadian, a.k.a. the cash machine. Okay, so we had some uh, flip-flopping of the... Uh, DTRs here with the uh, top uh, average is the Great British Pound JPY. This thing was flying last week. Um, and the ATR bar color just destroyed this pair. Um, it, um, the GBP JPY, 207 pips on an average. And uh, the best trading day was on a Wednesday at 303 pips. It was big mover. Wednesday is just, just phenomenal trading. Okay, um, GBP NZD second 204 pips average daily trading range again moved. So let's click on the GBP NZD and this one moved 299 pips on Wednesday. Just beast mode. Okay, Great British Pound AUD 332 pips on Wednesday. Just killer. <clears throat> okay. GBP CAD, I traded a little bit. This one moved 252 pips on Wednesday. Daily trading range on uh, the GBP CAD is, I think it's 184. 184. Next up, Euro Australian. Best trading day again, Euro Australian. Where are we? Euro Australian is uh, it's going to be Wednesday, traders. 268 pips. Just, just phenomenal trading days, Wednesday. Um, next up um, is the Euro New Zealand. This thing flew on Wednesday to the south. 219 pips. Um, the best tra trading day is Wednesday, and your average trade is going to be 134 pips. Okay. GBP USD, I trade on the Trend Stalker Elite, 124 pips. Best trading day on this pair is going to be Thursday. Sunday, Monday came in pretty well, 142 pips, so, but the big mover was 148. So it's pretty even across the board, about 120 pips, traders, for the whole week for the GDP USD. It's a pretty good average movement. Okay, um, I don't trade the euro ever. Euro USD, um, let's see, the USD Canadian. Um, USD Canadian. Best trading day Wednesday on 127 pips, and it's pretty even keel across the board. Average daily trading range is gonna be 91. Actually, it is 91 pips for the U.S. dollar Canadian, and also um, I missed one here, traders. Hold on, I'm looking for the. New Zealand US dollar. Here's a New Zealand US dollar, which is uh, trade this on the trend stalker elite. Best trading day is Wednesday, 95 pips. Across the board, it's about a 70 pip, you know, with like the daily trading rate average in the last four weeks. And then we also have the next up is going to be the Aussie US dollar at 71 pips. This is a very consistent pair if you're, you know, Across the board, 60 pips, 60. It's very range bound. And then on Wednesday, best trading date, 114 pips. It does this. This pair does not get away from you um, that often. So um, it's very consistent. Okay. Very very consistent. All right, traders. So that's it. So we're gonna go to the charts now. I already put the daily trading ranges on here already, and. So first up is going to be the Great British Pound, JPY. <clears throat> what I'm looking at on uh, Sunday, uh, when the market opened, looks like we're going to take a dip. We're going to take a dip until about, looks like, 6 p.m. And it's going to go up. It's, not going, to, it's going to go up until about 8 o'clock, and it's just going to roll back over. But it looks like the best opportunity is going to be 2 a.m. in the morning for an up move until 7 a.m. in the morning and then we're probably going to start looking for a down move until 
still going down until looks like 1 p.m. 1300 and then it's gonna pull back up some more and then and it looks a little choppy here 2200 it's gonna go back up and then at 2 a.m. on Tuesday a sharp move up and then down looks like it's gonna do some retracement here yeah, it looks like down all the way, all day Tuesday. We'll see how the trend goes, but very easy to do. Um, um, you know, to check the trend is put a 120 on your chart, and if it's above the 120, then it's a it's a buy. You'd be looking for buy trades. If it's below the 120, you'd be looking for sell trades. <clears throat> Just keep the perspective of the trend. Okay, so. Um, then, yeah, it's still going down to Wednesday. And then it looks like it's going to bottom out here on Wednesday at 12 a.m. No, 12 p.m., sorry, traders, on Wednesday. And start looking for an up move here. And then when we get to 8 p.m., and we're going to look for a little sharp drop for a couple of hours until 11 p.m., 2300. And then back up on Thursday. And then we're looking like 10, 9 or 10 a.m., we're looking like we're going down okay into Thursday into Friday and then possibly gonna bottom out here at 8 p.m. on Friday and it looks like some sideways movement a dip down up until Friday and then we're gonna go back up that's what that's what I see on that you can pause the video for the times um, and to look you know um, to see where you want to trade but again I'll show you with the 120 what you could do to make sure you're in the right direction of the trend okay that's the 60 minute now next up the GBP MZD same thing on the um, basically on the JPY looks like it's gonna market opens looks like it's gonna take a dive until about night this one's gonna be 1700 and it looks like an up move until this was a little longer, 2100, which is about 9 o'clock. And then we're going to go back down into 2 a.m. and then shoot back up 2 a.m. on into Monday and then 7 a.m. down, back up, and then that's it. We're going to drop some more. Looks like with the HPC lines, it's pretty much going down until about, 20, about 8 p.m. on Monday. And we're going to head back up again and peek out looks like i would rather take this cell if i'm going to sell it versus this one because it's still bouncing around so this time about 9 9 a.m in the morning sorry traders I'm looking for a down move on tuesday on the gdp nzd looks like it's going down baby into wow still going down into your oof Wow, it's going down. Pull back down again. Yeah, I'm gonna probably looking to sell the, the, the pound on um, New Zealand for you know until we get into this time. Wow. It was like going down. Okay, so and then we're until Wednesday. It looks like we're gonna finally bottom out here on Thursday. Um at 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to bottom out and then I'm going to start going back up. But it looks like it's still pulling back. And it looks like it just flattens out here. It's not really doing much. And we got another up move here on Friday at 3 a.m. in the morning. Because this looks like chop here. You know, the line is not going, um, it's just like going sideways to me. But it does peak out here at. 10 a.m. in the morning for a short on Thursday. So I'll be looking at that. But again, I'll show you with the 120 how we do. Just throw 120 on there, you know. So you, or you know something that makes sure you're in the right direction of the trend. So next up is going to be the pound Australian dollar, which is hold on traded pound Aussie right here at 60. And um, same scenario. It looks like the pound pairs is going to take a dip again. <clears throat> Seventeen hundred back up. The, the, these almost look identical. Twenty one hundred. Look for a down move and then back up at this one's back up at twelve a.m. in the morning. 
And then we look for a short on this pair at 7 a.m. I already have it marked off. 7 a.m. on Monday, look for a down move on an Aussie US, I mean Aussie, pound Aussie. Okay, and then at uh, one, looks like one, 1300 to about one o'clock in the afternoon. And then maybe pulling back there. And then, but the best opportunity for the up move is going to be at 1900. Looks like it's more of an up move. You got more time. And then Tuesday, we're going down, traders. We are going down on Tuesday. Okay, so it looks like the pound pairs on Tuesday across the board. Looks like it's going down. And then it goes down until Wednesday. But again, we'll see how the trend is going with the 120. All right. Uh oh. My platform doesn't crash. It's going around. Um, uh, okay. And into Wednesday. It looks like we bottom in out. Uh -oh. you know, something happened. You know what's going on, traders? Just switch my, just switched everything. Okay. Um, we're going down until Wednesday. We're gonna bottom out here. Mm. It looks like. 2200 gonna bottom out here. Yeah, something switched. And then we're gonna start going back up here. Yeah, 2200 is about 10 p.m. on Wednesday. I'm gonna start going up, it looks like. Peak out. And another pullback here. It looks like 10 a.m. in the morning. So it's a pretty long trade. These, these are hourly bars. And then it looked like on Thursday we're going down again into uh, 2100 actually even lower because on friday the hbc i mean the uh hbc lines have it here at 3 a.m is the bottom out point okay traders so that's the pound aussie so next up is going to be the euro australian 60 euro australian Euro got pounded towards the end of the week, big time, big time down move. Okay, so uh, this is Sunday, it's about 2.32. Looks like it's gonna go down, then back up. So um, it's still going down, so I'm looking for the bottom out point. It's gonna be about 12 a.m. And then we're gonna go up at 12 a.m. On the, on the Euro Australian dollar. Peak out, looks like a double top here. And then we're gonna go down that's too many hours this is 10 only two hours so it's, it's gonna be like about 10 a.m. to 12 and then we're gonna go back up so that's a small retracement so depending on how the trade goes it looks like it's still going up until Tuesday and then we're gonna take a dive at 6 a.m. in the morning it's gonna fall at 4 a.m. but only a little bit and then it's gonna really drop at uh, 6 a.m. traders and then at 6 a.m. on Tuesday, and then look for a short up move or pull back into the trend. If it's going down, and it looks like it's going to chop around here. I mean, it looks like a chop fest here until 10. Yeah, chop fest. That's what it looks like, depending on what the trend is doing. But Wednesday looks like a chop fest for some reason or another. These lines are a little conflicting. But then Thursday looks like a down move. And that will be 8 a.m. in the morning, down the one move. Euro Australian into Friday, double bottom here, and then back up. But I don't know why Wednesday's looking all choppy like that. And it's looking choppy. So we'll see when we get there. But the, definitely the maybe the sell opportunity could come at 11 a.m. in the morning. You know, but it looks like it's going to go down and pull back up. And then this is going to be, if it's going to go down, it's going to be a sell opportunity. It's going to be 7 a.m. on Thursday to the south. <clears throat> okay, that's the Euro Australia. Next up is the U.S. dollar JPY. Here's some ridiculous pips on this as well. Um, this thing has been, been uh, paying a lot of money as well. This thing has been really consistent. Um, GTR 
we already went over the DTR, but I do have them on my chart, so I know, you know, where it's going to go approximately. Um, Sunday, looks like we're coming into a down move until, um, I like to see the down move is going to be over at 2 a.m. Um, that's where the best opportunity for a buy move will be coming at 2 a.m. in the morning up until 10 a.m. in the morning. So that's a pretty nice trend. And then we're gonna go, then we're gonna take a dip into and try to find the lowest point of the HPC lines, which is here at 12 a.m. in the morning on Monday, which is about Tuesday starting. So it might be a buy move here at that time. Goes up, pulls back, and then goes up again. Looks choppy. And then we're peeking out here at looks like 11 a.m. in the morning. And then we're gonna work our way down. And it looks like back and forth, up, up and down movement on the end. You can see, you can see the histograms here. You know, up, okay, down, up, down, up, down, up. You know, it, that's what it looks like to me with the histograms. But that's why I like to use the HPC lines to try to get pinpoint the entries because sometimes with the peak of the um, Histogram, see it says 6 a.m. and a lot with HPC lines, sometimes the, the peak of the histogram could be off just a, a you know a slight bit. That's why I like to incorporate the HPC lines as well. Okay, it looks like some up and down movement on the end. Uh, this move here is 1400, um, but it looks like it's going to bottom out here at 1600, and then the better move will be 1900 on Thursday for an up move, pull back, and then boom, Friday up again. Okay, so the Friday move is going to be 5 a.m. in the morning for an up move on the dollar yen. Okay, sometimes these don't print time stamps as well. So again, this is 1400 traders, and this is going to be 5 a.m. in the morning for an up move on Friday. And it's just going to be very short lived. So, eight, so it's about three hours. And then it's going to pull back and then go back up again. So I'll pull back at eight and then do a retracement and then back up. Okay, that's that. And then the next up is the Euro New Zealand, which is similar to Euro New Zealand, man, maybe a 60. Euro New Zealand. <clears throat> which took a huge down move uh, on Friday, Thursday, Friday, big down move. Okay, so Sunday we're coming in. We're gonna go. We're gonna go down. Let's see, seventeen hundred. It's five o'clock down. It's probably the back and forth from the market correcting itself, and then we're gonna peak out here at twenty three hundred. Was gonna be probably the best opportunity for a, some sort of an up move into the downtrend. And we're going to peak out here on Monday at 7 a.m. And then we're going to try another shot at making another high at 10 a.m. And then down. And then last ditch high is going to be at 1,500. And it looks like we're just going to go down slowly until 8, 8 p.m. on Monday night. And then we're going to go back up. And then we're going to peak out again at 6 a.m. on Tuesday. And then we're going to head back down. So you can see it going down, down. And even this is going down. Even though it's a bottom histogram here, we'll see when it get there. It still looks like it's just going down. Overall, down. Then we're going to pull back here on Thursday at 3 a.m. Up, short term, 8 o'clock, a drop. Okay, bottom out here. This could be a double bottom. And some sort of slight up move and it still looks like it's definitely lower by Friday and then we bottom out here at 11 a.m. which is the close of the market on London test because if you notice that a lot of the reversals or the low or highs are at 11 a.m. in the morning that's like the London close area a lot of people are closing their positions taking profit so you'll get a lot of reversals at that time it's actually a trading, there's uh, um, a lot of people actually just trade that time because it's the one and close and you could get some quick reversals 
And sometimes those runs, those pips go for a long way. And once you put it to break even, you know, take some profit and then move the stop to break even. Some of those trades run, you know, hundreds of pips. You know, but you do get the reversal around the London. It's called the London close. There's a strategy. I think uh, who's got it? Forex. Uh, uh, I can't think of the name at the moment. But the, the lady is Shirley Hudson. She's really good at the London close. Um, you can look it up, Shirley Hudson. Uh, I think it's forexmentor.com. Okay, um, but it's a Monday close. All right, so that's the Euro New Zealand. Uh, next up is the, well, I'm going to have to do that on the trend stock or elite, will be the GDP USD at 124 pips, but I don't have that on this particular chart. So we're going to do the US dollar Canadian, the one that was the big winner for last week. Huge pips on this pair on a long term trade. Awesome. Okay. I don't see much on this. I'm going to have to just straight trade this um, after Tuesday. Um, I'm just going to have to trade this technical trading because I don't see much on these charts. I'm going to definitely have to use the trend stock or elite on this, traders. But Monday, um, Sunday, looks like we're going to. I don't know, go sideways until 1700 and then we're going to make an up move and I think that's it because we're going down. It's peak 1 a.m. in the morning, sideways, sideways, and then drop off at 7 a.m. So the best opportunity for selling is going to be 7 a.m. on this pair down until um, I'm expecting it to pull back now that it hit 31.50. But we may get another shot at trying to take out that roll, okay, to go lower. So we'll see Monday um, peaking out here on the HPC lines at 1300, which is about 1 p.m. on Monday. Then the up move starts for almost, a, you know, Monday into Tuesday, almost to Wednesday. We peak out. And then I kind of get lost over here because I don't see much here with the HPC lines, nor with the histograms because it looks like it's to me it looks like it's going down and pull back into whatever trend we're going so i'm gonna have to trade this with the uh the trend stalker elite that'll give me i'll show you i'm gonna do some analysis on the trend stalker elite so as of wednesday after the canadian dollar it just doesn't look good to me so i'm gonna have to trade it you know technically um with the trend stalker elite trend line breaks support and resistance um, candlestick formations, you know, just straight education. All right, so uh, that's the dollar Canadian. Um, next up is going to be the New Zealand US dollar. I'm going to have to do that on trend stock early. And the Aussie US dollar 60. Here's the Aussie US dollar 60 minute time frame. This one, we're looking for. Looks like an up move on the on the on the Aussie US dollar up until looks like it's gonna peak out here at fourteen hundred on Monday. Okay, fourteen hundred on Monday then uh nineteen hundred is probably gonna be the best sell opportunity here on this pair. Nineteen hundred and you know go down which is about i think about seven o'clock so this might be a nice trend for a down move until 8 a.m in the morning could go could go yeah 8 a.m because it's going to go back up and then another short opportunity at 1900 again same time then pull back into the trend and we got some conflicting stuff here we got the hbc line white going up here uh, but it does conform to this for an up short up move until Let's see, what time is this? This is 10, not enough time, but then it still goes up more until 22. Yeah, so it's going to move lower high here. This is the peak. So maybe I'll look for a sell opportunity here, 2200 on Wednesday. Okay, down until, um, looks like a peak out here is going to be 10 a.m. Gonna be 10 a.m. on the Aussie US dollar. Right there. I'm gonna go back up until Friday. <clears throat> All right, so let's switch over to the trend stock or elite. 
Trend Stalker Elite. Okay, Trend Stalker Elite. So the pairs that did not do, such as the. Um, we can only do on the Trend Stalker. Oh no, I actually could do it, but we're going to do. Um, we're going to do the pound US dollar. Um, I didn't really mark this one off. So this is only going to be. You can only. With the Trend Stalker Elite, you can't go but so many days with this one. Now with the Power Zone, you can go a lot further, but this is only a five minute chart. Um, the other one was a 60 minute. So it's just going to be really quick with this. Uh, let's see if I see any trends here. Um, 1800 is going to come in here. This we don't even bother with because it's so crazy when the market opens. 1800 up till then you know. The sell and a buy. So it looks like it's going off there. Yeah. Only thing I see, maybe 340 down until 635. It's a couple hour trade, so it's a scalp trade. But then we got a nice trend move here. 635 a.m. in the morning till 1450. 1405, sorry, traders. Uh, that's all I see right now because that other stuff looks like a chop fest. You know, coming here, you know, you're going to have to use, I'll have to use technicals. In order to trade this, because the up move coming here at 1700, you know, but it still stays above, then it dips down. But yeah, it looks like the best 340 to 635, and then 635 to 1450. That's the only thing I see on the pound US dollar. Um, it looks like for Monday, Sunday, Monday. Okay, because this one you can't, we can't really go back that far. So let me take a look at the trend stalker. Um, this is the pound US. So this is a five minute GDP USD. Let me see if I can mark this up quick. I'm just on the on trends. When I use the smaller time frame, I only I don't look at this really unless I'm looking for an entry or a triple confirmation. So I'm just looking for trend moves on this here. So what I do see is it's some sort of a trend move up 18 to 340 in the morning. 1800 to 340 in the morning, 340 down into 635. Okay. Um, let's see what the HPC lines are doing. Oh, this is severe choppy traders. Wow, down, then got a lower high, and then back down. So the best out of 4:35 in the morning it would probably be the better short. Um, and just wait. You know, you're gonna get a down move at 3:40 at that time, and then it's gonna pull back and then mm, to a chop. Oof. We'll see. That's why that, you know, the uh, trade with the trend is ideal. Okay, 635 up to 1405. Um, very choppy. Okay, New Zealand US dollar is going to come here in 1800. Looks like we're going to do an up move up until 1235 a.m. in the morning. And we may peak out. Looks like sideways, then we drop. Um, 1450 looks like the lowest high until 735 in, in the morning. And then from 735 in the morning, looks like we're going to go up until 1325 on Monday. This is all Monday trades with this trend stock early. And then from 1335, depending on it's a very slow moving pair, so 1335 and down until 2245 from the New Zealand US dollar. Okay, and I think that's it. So I'll update you back with some of the videos that I have during the week. Not that many because the trade I, that the U.S. dollar Canadian man. Oh my goodness, that was that was awesome. And also the pound JPY and the I see we're getting a little market movement here. It's not open yet, but I just saw some movement. Um. And the Jake Great British, I mean, the, there was some really good moves last week, definitely. All right, traders, so I'll update you with a few of those videos. All right, stay profitable. Welcome back, traders. Trading the Great British Pound, uh, JPY. Currently up 41 pips, first trade of the night. Or oh, the ATR bar color, excuse me. And <clears throat> we have it on shorts due to the power zone. So let's quickly go to the power zone. 
JPY 60 minute, which is right here. Here's the current market for the power zone. There's a sell up here at 1800 and we're working our way down until like 8 in the morning so this could be a pretty long run but I see let's see on the HPC lines here so we might get a slight pullback here up and then we may roll back over but it looks like with the histogram here looks like we're going down Okay, traders. So that's where we're at right now. The pound Aussie, USD Canadian, uh, JPY. We're back up here. <coughs> so we currently have the trailer that uh, that I'm using with the JPY here. Okay. So we're currently in the neutral zone here. So what normally happens is we normally get a reversal here, but uh, this is bearish, so it just may still it may break out with another sell here um, to the south. But remember, we also uh, we did cross over the EMA. If you're trading this manually, you would um, you know be looking for shorts anyway because of the EMA the 120. So that's where we're currently at. You can see it here. You know, we got a good entry. It looks like a lower high, and then it broke the uh, threshold here, um, and it called a sell trade here. And we're currently 42 pips in. Took this low out. So. I will give you an update back on this trade. All right, traders? <laughs> okay, see, now we got a buy signal. But remember, we're on um, the EMA 120, we we're below it. So we want to ignore anything like that for the current moment. So we may get taken out. We shall see. But we do have. Let's see, we're locked in at twenty pips. Welcome back, traders. Trading the Great British Pound AUD. Um, this is probably the first trade it took in a while because I'm using the close the the. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna have to show you what I'm talking about. What is it? It's going to enter the trade, but it's going to put a pending order, and it's going to last for four bars. So I'll get a better entry or with a little less drawdown than a straight market order once the signal uh, hits. So I'm going to give that a try. So this is the first trade it took in a while. So because it had a, it had some entries, but <clears throat> it never um, hit the um, the order. Okay, so this is the first one it has taken, and it looks like we're probably going to take out this 20 pip target here, traders. We're at 17 pips. Here we go. Target traders. filled. Target filled. That's 20 pips. I think on the day so far. We, that should have put us about about let's see um, you know, about 89 pips for today. But, um, but this is the first I believe this is the first I took a manual trade on this. Um, this was earlier like last night. So we're at 19 pips. So if it goes 22, this trailing stop's gonna zip up there. 21. There we go, traders. There's that 21 at 22 pip trailer locked in with 20 pips guaranteed. But now, what happens with this one? It gets stopped out a lot, <clears throat> but we'll catch that 20 pips 
And this has caught over 200 pips because it kept going, you know, and the currency pair just had a huge breakout. So it's still possible to catch a big run with this. But, you know, you secured, you locked in 20 pips, you know, on both units. <clears throat> now, I have another ATM that you get, you'll get the 20 pips, and this will move up two pips positive here. So you, you have a better opportunity to catch a longer run. So as you can see here, we're going, we're breaking out. So this gives the trailing stop a little bit of a cushion. So you need like a pretty huge breakout. And then, because you know the pair is going to retrace. So, and this is the resistance level, I believe. So definitely you need a pullback here. But you need some kind of, um, you know, a cushion on a, on a trailing stop like this. Okay, so right now we're locked at 31 pips. It's got to go, I believe it's got to go another 20. Let's go, let's check custom. Oh, no, that's it. It's going to be locked in at, it's not going to move again. Okay, so this one, traders, is not going to move again. So, okay, we're at 36 pips. So, yeah, this one's not even going to move again. Stop filled. All right, stop taking out traders. <clears throat> okay, so we did one catching 20 pips and 20 pips. I think the most were up maybe almost 40. But the pound overall, things going to be pulling back anyway. See, where's my entry? I had it here and actually hit a couple times. I was checking some other stuff. That's why sometimes it's best to focus on, uh, you know, a couple of pairs so you don't miss these entries. So that would, that would have been my entry there. <clears throat> but what I think is going to happen is when I'm looking at the power zone, we're going to get a dip down. And then we're going to go back up and make a, I think, a lower high. And either it could be this high or it could be this high. But you already did that. Here's another high now. That's it. For now. And I think we're going to, you know, pull back, make a little high, and then go down. Because if you look at the power zone, <clears throat> while it's on a smaller, a smaller time frame power zone, it looks like it makes, this was the high, and then it's going to come up and make a lower high, and then we're going to drop. Welcome back, traders. Trading the Great British Pound JPY took that reversal. We'll put a short up here. <clears throat> We're almost at take profit. We just hit my limit on my MT4 platform. But it did not go through it. So you can see it pulling back right now. <clears throat> but we had a pretty big bearish candle I'm looking at on the MT4 platform on my other monitors. In the long trade here. So I let it, it made a high, pulled back. So let's see. Because uh, I really wanted to get on this lower high here. So we're kind of making higher highs at the moment. Barely. So let's see if this trend line is going to hold. See here, traders, this is probably going to be the pullback up to 11.10. So kind of wanted to get out before then because it's going to pull back and then you know, I'll be able to take another short. Um, it's going to pull down, go back up, and then we're, down, we're going down. Okay, so. Looks like Balcony is rallying at the moment. So that's what I was looking at. So it's coming in here at 1110. Going to go back up. And, um. But eventually it's going to go down. Welcome back, traders. Uh, trading Euro New Zealand. Uh, we're still currently really going sideways, but um, we're up still three pips. 
but again, I think we're going to break out to the north. Welcome back, traders. Trading the Euro New Zealand. Okay, looks like we're trying to break out of this uh, and uh, take these 20 pips out here, traders. And uh, we shall see. Oh, excuse me. Point. Um, to take. Okay. Let's see, it looks like commodity pairs got some, uh, it looks like Canadian got some strength big time. So let's see if we're going to take that out. With the wrinkle bars, you don't see the big monster candle, but on a candlestick, it's a huge candle. Huge candle, took out it, took out the, uh, with the power zone. So uh, we limited out on that. That was awesome. Awesome trade right there. Finally took that out. We got taken out on the Euro New Zealand. Uh, right here. Oh, that's a Euro Aussie. Euro New Zealand. We got taken out on a stop. Um, we were up like 19, 18, 19 pips traders. And, you know, it, it happens. So, <clears throat> you know, you win some and you lose some, you know what I mean? So, I think that was the first loss for today. So, and it also wasn't um, the full amount. Normally it's 25 pips, but um, we didn't, um, we moved it up to 16 pips. So, we took a 16 pip loss. All right, so, hey. But again, with good trade management, um, traders, see how um, the ATM makes a difference. Now, if I had it, you know, this does not have the chase stop, this particular one. You see the chase stop is not um, checked on this one. And we would have been good to go. But that's a different ATM. So, you, you know, you win some, you lose some. So that's the first loss for today. So it's not bad um, for today. We just uh, lost one trade and we made well, a whole bunch of trades today. All right. So I'll update you back on these other trades. I'm out. Okay. So we got two order pendings, traders. See, we got an order pending here for a uh, short. So what it's going to do is it once it calls a trade, instead of an enter right immediately, it's going to wait for the pullback, and then if it comes back here, I put it on, I think, 20 bars. So let's go into the indicator. <clears throat> uh, marker plus. And I think I have it for oh, 10 bars. All right, so if we don't get 10 bars, it doesn't pull back within 10 bars, it's going to cancel this order, and it'll look like we're going to cancel the order because the bars are really flying. Order canceled. See, it just canceled the order. So, um, so I'm testing that. So we, for longs, we want a low price. So we try to get a, a order low, canceled. A good pullback, and then for a short, we want a high price. You know, so we can get the optimal entry. So just in case, um, it pulls back, and then. It pulls all the way back to just say here or something like that, and we get a better entry. Now, there's some other things that you could do as well. There is uh, here's the market when it enters you immediately. Like for this trade, the benefit would have been, let's say, still be up maybe, up maybe 10, 15 pips. Okay, then you have the bid, then you have the ask, and you have the high, low object is um i'm not sure i think what that is it puts out um like an entry line and it moves or something i think i don't know what object is so um i'm gonna go back to let's see enter so we went low okay all right Close. so still working out you know okay not bad 
you know, but the uh, with the ATR bar color, back traders trading the Great British Pound JPY. We got a short on. Uh, we got big pound weakness. Um, we got the euro strength. Uh, so let's go to the charts. We're gonna go to Fibonacci Trader because I got some um, trades on the MT4 platform. Okay, this is actually that's amazing. I'm sorry, traders. Let's go to let's go back to the media. Here we are right now. We have this not almost the same entry, but this one has a little better entry because it has a um, it's working off the high low close. What it'll do call a trade and instead of entering the market right away, it puts a pending order at the high point, which was here. Here's the trade. Here's the call. If you got in here, you took a lot of took some heat, so you take a lot less heat. Um, when you put the order when it <clears throat> automates the order up here, and then I have it uh, to well, let's go to indicators marker plus, and we go right here. So I have on entries for longs, it's on low. And entries for short is high, and I have 10 bars life, so the order will stay up there for 10 bars, okay. And then once that happens, if it doesn't go 10 bars, it looks like we're not going to get limited out on the JPY on the MT4 platform. It looks like we're right here at this support level, and we just bounce back up. But the stop is to break even, just like this one. This one's just got a better entry. Okay, so um, we will see. Yeah. yeah, welcome back, traders. Uh, that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, but I also have uh, uh, if you want to trade with the trend, just put a 120 on your chart. So we. You're, you're definitely trading in the right direction. So just click on indicators and go down to EMA right here, traders, EMA, hit new. I already have the parameters set. Um, here's the 120 period. Um, and then you could go into EMA and change. I have uh, the fifth, uh, the width is five, blue, um, dot, dash, line. And that's pretty much it. And then I just apply it. And um, basically, if you know this is up this way, I'm looking for long trades. Like right here was a perfect entry here, but now we're still above. Right here, we got some resistance coming at uh, 145.50, and it looked like it made a lower high than this high. This high, so we may be going down. But uh, that's a you know. So if we get a cross over this, then uh, Maybe be taking a short. Look for a bounce right here at 4507. That's what I'm looking at right at the moment, traders. So um, that's it. And um, if you like, uh, you know, thanks for watching. And um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. All right, traders. So stay profitable and have a great week.